but it is amazing how fast you can go from someone's everything to being someone's nothing. When you finally open up your heart to someone after so long, just to have it crushed. All the promises. And it's not even something you did. <clears throat> it's not you, it's not you. You're perfect, you're amazing, you're beautiful. But then he cheats. And with a downgrade, so double slap in the face. Yeah. I don't think I'll be opening up to anyone for a very long time, if at all. I'm pretty sure I'm just destined to be alone at this point. gentlemen what is going on welcome back to another episode and we're starting it with the tears gentlemen welcome to this uh, pity party now i must confess guys i am guilty as for a moment it was a brief moment uh but i felt sympathy for this one yeah that's right <laughs> i have a heart and i you know for a moment thought oh wow maybe you know maybe her husband cheated on her Maybe her boyfriend of 10 years did something to her. And then I said, hey, Hidden, wait a minute. It's 2023. Women are, are no longer securing the commitment, you know. And I was right. So I, I must admit, I'm, I'm guilty. So this woman right here is a divorced woman. Uh, and for a moment I thought, you know what, maybe her ex-husband cheated on her. But no, because she said in the beginning that uh, she didn't open her heart for a long time to nobody. So it wasn't her husband, because if it was her husband, they would have been married, you know, she would have been uh, open hearted. So, you know, got divorced, uh, thought the grass was green on the other side, probably slept with 10 dudes along the way, uh, you know, before opening her heart, because, you know, opening your legs is easy, that opening your heart is the hard part. Uh, but well, she opened her heart, and wow. Chad didn't commit. What a surprise, gentlemen. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's hear the rest of the story. Pretty funny, though. Feeling stupid on top of that doesn't really help. So, I don't understand why cheating is always the first reaction that most men have when one little thing goes funky. No, 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 no. Men don't have this attitude, Chad has this attitude, and he was gonna cheat regardless, uh, well, could you even call it cheating if you were never a thing in the first place? I don't know. Literally one tiny, little fixable thing. So, there's that. I just don't get it. I just, I don't understand how people can play with people's hearts and not give a shit. Especially knowing the things that you've been through. And it doesn't mean anything to anybody. So when she says, especially knowing the things you've been through, uh, she of course talks about her failed marriage and about all the abusive and toxic ex-boyfriends she had and all the other chats who didn't commit. It's kind of funny to me, you know, it's ironic. Ironic. To think that the woman who divorced her man, who was already in a relationship but decided to get divorced, is now talking about uh, people don't respect what I've been through, people, you know, don't sympathize with me. I don't understand what's happened in this world to make people so cold towards others. <laughs> and relationships don't have value anymore. And no, it's you sad. don't say. <laughs> I can't with this one for real. Relationships don't have value, she says after getting a divorce. <laughs> it's so funny, man. So, 
He'll be back to my old content one of these days once I pick myself up. And, um... Take a guess, gentlemen. What is old content? Uh, dating, talking about dating on TikTok or OnlyFans? Take a guess. Yeah. I'm gonna put a lock and key on this heart for a long time, I think. It's probably gonna take a miracle to get that broken again, so... Anyway... That. And the video ends right there, gentlemen. What a funny story. Uh, honestly, uh, I, I did sympathize the first five seconds because I, I forgot we were in 2023. But absolutely no sympathy for these women. They get divorced. They already have a husband, you know. And instead of focusing on that marriage, they focus, uh, focus on the next best thing. And surprise, surprise, it didn't work out because men don't respect you. Uh, given, you know, your story, your background, and the way you are. But let's continue watching, gentlemen. So, obviously, the past year and that, I've been dating, seeing people, had a few things with some guys, it's not really worked out, moved on to the next, and sort of just meeting new people, having fun, seeing what happens. Um, the thing I can say is, though, if you have to ask someone, what are we, or what's going on, then you know exactly what's going on and it's nothing um and it's time to cut them off because if you're sitting there questioning yeah just a minute gentlemen this is why we should all hold women responsible because they're not stupid they know that when they have to ask the question of what are we they know uh that there's nothing there they know it right they're not stupid they're you know reasonable human creatures and this is why they all are accountable for the mistakes they do. They all are accountable for being single at 35. They all are accountable for the guy that cheated on them. They all are accountable for picking the wrong partners. Because they know along the way that that is wrong. They just, hey, they like it, man. They're addicted to the anxiety. What's going on? Do they like me like that? You shouldn't have to ask that. They'll make you aware and you will know when someone likes you and you will know when it's the right time for another relationship like for me i'm not ready i don't want that yet or anytime soon until someone comes along and makes me feel like yeah i want to be with someone now and i don't want any other guy i don't want to see anyone else i only want them that oh yeah i'm sure that will happen i'm sure prince charming will come to pick up the pieces of your failed dating history because that's men's dream, to pick up some bag of ruins who has been passed around the whole city and to say, you know what, I'm going to commit to this woman. I'm going to show her that she deserves respect. I'm going to show her that I can be the man of her dreams. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Only for her to, of course, cheat on me because I don't respect myself at well. Now, I'm not going to spoil the end of the story, gentlemen. What a beautiful fantasy this woman has. That's the moment I know I'm ready for a relationship. That's personally me anyway. Because if I'm dating someone and it's just the same thing every time and it's not leveling up, it's not going anywhere, then I get bored and I'm like, right, time to cut this off because I'm getting bored. Nothing's going anywhere or changing. We're just doing the same thing every time. Then it's time to like cut it move on find someone else because then you only start getting attached and i don't know what it is yeah with the three week mark four week mark it just fizzles out and just dies like every time it's happened to me where i've been seeing someone three four weeks dies out and then um it's just like oh that was fun on to the next one um but yeah i feel like don't put labels on things. Don't rush. Don't make it into something it's not. Just enjoy your fucking summer. Guys, I'm going to have to pause it right here because I'm just thinking, isn't it funny when you hear a woman who in one second you can assess is not dating material? Isn't it funny to hear her talking about dating and the, the, the plans she has and the strategy uh, she has for dating and what she understands? It, it's even cute. It's like, you know, want to pet her on the head and say, oh, cutie, you, you think you still deserve a man who's going to date you, right? Don't you? <laughs> you still think that someone's going to date you, a man who respects himself. It's so cute, gentlemen. 
Uh, I, my mind just goes blank at some point, listening to them blabbering all the time about this and that. Madam, uh, you're not going anywhere. Uh, but let's hear the rest of the mental gymnastics. Like, I'm personally still working on myself. I'm not ready yet to be with someone. Like, there's guys that have wanted to be with me like that, and I've just been like, I'm not ready. I, I, I don't want that. And that's... This woman says, I'm working on myself, and she forgot to mention other men are also working on herself perfectly fine and i used to be the opposite before my first boyfriend well before my ex all i wanted was a relationship and now after that's the last thing i want like i, I genuinely don't want it right now guys sorry to pause it so so much but there's so many things to be said this this, this thing that she mentioned that before she had a boyfriend the only thing that she wanted is to have a serious relationship and after him she only wants casual things is something that throughout my short life I've seen so many times happen to women. Uh, they initially, they, you know, they have this mindset that they want something serious. This is true. I've seen. <laughs> but then they have this one boyfriend who, of course, wasn't the right one because they were stupid and naive and they picked a guy who doesn't care. And then, you know, they, then they play this victim card of, uh, you know, they, they want to be the victim. They are the ones whose heart got broken and, you know, they are the sad princess of the story. And then they expect that, you know what, uh, I'm going to play uh, with all these dudes. I'm going to ride the carousel because now I'm liberated. And I'm going to wait for the real Prince Charming, the Chul of Bean, to come and save me, right? They, they sort of feel entitled to that because they thought that their first relationship is going to go like that. And it didn't. And so now they think that the universe owes them uh, that one boyfriend that had to be. And it's stupid because guys go through this as well. I mean, guys, they think that the first relationship is going to work out. It doesn't for different reasons, but it doesn't. And, you know, just guys just learn, hey, you know, I'm not going to make that mistake twice. That, that's the thought of many men. Women, on the other hand, have this mindset of, well, because the first one was bad, uh, now the universe owes me one, you know, sort of like their bodies, you know, and hell, hey, you owe me one. And then they go ride the carousel, and, and they wait until their 30s, 40s, 50s <laughs> for that Prince Charming to show up. And he never does, because it doesn't work that way. Anyway, rant over. Uh, leave me your comments about what are your thoughts on this topic, gentlemen. And that's fine. I'm just living my best life, having fun, focusing on myself and my weight loss. And you need to love yourself first, and you need to be confident in yourself first before you can let someone else in your life like i find so much truth in that because i wasn't happy before and i need to be happy next time do you know what i mean yeah yeah i know what you mean sister and that's what you are happy you know that that's living your best life just being passed around from chat to chat being used is that what you call your best life Gentlemen, modern women are so wasted, man. They're so lost. But guys, we'll end the video right here. Thank you a lot for watching. Leave me down in the comments your thoughts about what we've seen. Uh, read your comments, really like them, join the Discord, and I'll be happy to see you next time, guys. Have a good one.